Joining us now, the head coach of Michigan Lacrosse, John Paul. And coach, as you look back at the inaugural season of Big Ten Lacrosse, what stood out to you about this conference? And how did that impact the approach you have going into the second season of the Big Ten? Well, I think we expected this, but what stood out to me was just how deep and how tough this conference is. Uh, you know, a lot of people talked about the Big Ten becoming one of the premier lacrosse conferences in the country fairly quickly. And I think that the, especially the top end of our conference really proved where we are already. Uh, and, and that's, I think, if anything that, that, that we learned, and again, we knew this going in, was how much work we're going to have to do to be competitive in, a, in such a premier conference. It's year five for your program. What's the progression been like for your team? And what's the next step in the evolution of Michigan lacrosse? Well, we've been so focused on building our culture and, and knowing that, you know, the, that our recruiting is going to fill in as, as the culture, as that foundation is built. And we did this in such a different way with, with taking our club team varsity and, and giving those guys the opportunity that, that we did. And this is our first year with four recruiting classes. It's our first year with a senior class that was recruited here that really came here to leave a legacy. And, and, uh, and they're building off of the culture that the guys before them have have been working so hard on these first few years. And I'm just excited to see these guys who really came here with a mission to build the program uh, at a place like Michigan where there's so much tradition and history where they get to set that. I'm really excited for these guys who've been part of this now for four years to have an opportunity to lead the team to its next steps. One of those players is your senior attackman now in Kyle Jackson. You moved him from the midfield to the attack. What necessitated that move, and how do you feel like that transition has gone for him so far? It's, it's gone amazingly well. He's, uh, he had, we weren't sure. You know, we, we had a pretty good suspicion, and it's something actually we've spoken about for the last couple of years. Uh, but he came in as a midfielder. He played midfield in high school, and, and, and before, he got, before he got to Michigan, he was a great midfielder for us. And... We never felt like we were really deep enough to lose him from the midfield and, and move, him, uh, move him down. And this year we felt like we had the depth to be able to start plugging guys, him especially, into some spots that might make a little bit more sense for us now. And, uh, but it was still an experiment when we started in the fall. And we figured out pretty quickly within the first couple weeks of fall across that it was the right move. And, you know, in some ways maybe we're kicking ourselves for not doing it earlier. But he's, he's really thrived there. Uh, it fits his game really well. It puts him in more comfortable finishing positions for him, uh, a little bit more what he's used to in his, with his box lacrosse background. And, uh, and as he's gotten used to it over the course of the fall in this first week of, of winter practice, you know, he's just gotten better and better at it. I, I think it's, it's going to be a pretty special opportunity for him and for us. Well, switching to the defensive side of the ball, Gerald Logan came back to you in the cage after missing the 2014 season. What was your assessment of his play last year, and how much has he grown as a player at Michigan? He's just so driven. You know, Gerald, not only for himself, he wants to be the best goalie he can be. He's, he's one of those goalies who's always begging for extra shots and, uh, and, is, and works so hard off the field to, to be as good as he can be on the field. But he's also grown into more of a leadership role. He's a captain for us this year. He really pushes his teammates hard. He's, you know, he's one of those guys who's part of that first recruiting class that got here and, and just so desperately wants to leave a mark here at Michigan. And, uh, and not so much personally, but as a group uh, and take the program to the next level. And you know, that's, that's what he's been focused on. And, and as a leader, that's where he's grown the most. You know, we all know what he brings to us in the cage. He can stop shots. Uh, he's worked incredibly hard on his clearing game all fall. Uh, Steve Torkington, who came in, who's our volunteer assistant this year, has worked really hard with him to improve his clearing game. And, and that's, you know, gotten better by leaps and bounds over the course of the last few months. And I think you're going to see a more complete player this year. But more than anything, it's his leadership that's improved this year. When you talk to recruits and their families about your program, well, how do you describe the value of a Big Ten degree? Well, we talk, you know, specifically about a Michigan degree. And a yeah, Big Ten degree, all of the Big Ten schools are strong academically. The Big Ten's obviously known for that. But, uh, you know, we talk about Michigan in, in particular and, and what that opportunity can mean to somebody, not only in the elite education that you get here, the academic credentials and prestige you get here with a Michigan degree, but the power of the Michigan Alumni Network uh, that is so huge, 600,000 strong, it's global. 
Uh, and, and that's really, you know, we talk about this being, and I think it's true of all the Big Ten schools, we talk about this being a lifetime decision and, and being part of these kinds of schools that have such a, a global following uh, and such passion that people have towards their schools for the rest of their lives. That's what's so special about graduating from one of our schools. Well, thinking of some of those schools that are known worldwide, especially for lacrosse, Maryland and Johns Hopkins come to Michigan Stadium this year. What does that mean to the sport of lacrosse in the state of Michigan to have them come and play and for your team to compete against them? Yeah, I remember uh, when I was first starting to play lacrosse and, and Michigan State had their varsity program and going to see Johns Hopkins play when they came out. I think it was for a, a fall scrimmage to play Michigan State. And as a, as a young lacrosse player, how special that was to see Hopkins coming out to the Midwest to play. And then even when we were a club team uh, four years before we became varsity, uh, Coach Petromala was generous enough to bring his team out and scrimmage us in the fall as a club team and and we had a huge crowd 5,000 people at that game for our club program pretty good crowd and, and it just showed you know that the draw that programs like that have and the respect that people have for them as as you know lacrosse royalty and uh, having them come to Michigan is, is kind of a culmination of of everything we've been trying to build here and uh, and it's it's just you know we're almost pinching ourselves I've been around this program since 1984 and here we are playing Big Ten games, meaningful conference games at home in the big house against Johns Hopkins in Maryland. Uh, it's, it's incredible that lacrosse has come this far. It's incredible that Michigan lacrosse has come this far. And we owe a lot to those programs to pave the way and, and help us get here. You have two more years in the big house, but you have your own lacrosse only stadium on the way. How does that help you in recruiting going forward for this team? You know, we're, we're, really excited about the facilities that are coming for a number of reasons. Uh, it, they'll be here in two more years. We've been able to show our recruits plans of these facilities for the last three years. We've been working on, on planning uh, with the architects almost since day one, since we started our varsity program. And it's great to see the, the culmination of all of the fundraising efforts and the, and the uh, design efforts kind of coming together so that now there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And you know, these facilities are gonna be second to none. Nobody's gonna have uh, what we have for our lacrosse program, Michigan's making an enormous investment in lacrosse. And, uh, and it shows recruits, one, that we're here to stay, and two, that we're very, very serious about building championship-level program here. So it's been invaluable to us. Michigan lacrosse head coach John Paul, we appreciate you taking the time, and best of luck this year. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.